guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a little video on this look it's just a simple springtime look so um and i also gonna give you guys a little review on this foundation buried all from pure cosmetics um so i got this from oakley so i will gonna be telling you what i think of well that's the finish of the foundation so it actually look pretty good it's a little thick I like it. So if it is your first time watching, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribe, thank you so much for coming back and watching my video. I appreciate you very much. Okay? I will link the link below for Oakley and for the foundation if anyone of you want to check it out. All right, up to you. So let's get into this video. I hope you guys like it. Bye. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Create this uh, spring look. We're going to start with the foundation primer. I'll give this one from Laura Mercier that I've been in love with for the past couple of months. So I'm just gonna get a little bit on my finger and so for this look I'm gonna be using this foundation from Per Per Cosmetic. My shade is in golden golden medium is buried all buried all so um less 12 hours four in one skin perfecting foundation so look good this is a high performance 12 hours demi matte foundation helps cover imperfection and instantly perfect skin and goes the distance all right so it looks good all right so i'm testing this is the first time i'm gonna use it so from pure cosmetics and i got it from Oakley for testing purpose so i'm gonna link below uh the link for Oakley and for pure cosmetic for this foundation if any of you like the outcome and would like to give it a try so i'm just gonna put a little dot here on my hand it's pretty thick i would say so um so i'm gonna use my uh foundation brush from lancome just for apply the foundation all over my skin and then I'm gonna use my beauty blender for blend it out oh my god I have a really strong color I think this shade is a little too light for me but I'm gonna blend in so maybe look better Yeah, I'll leave this on my makeup counter and I like maybe a day that I'm gonna um, go to an event and stay all day that I don't want to touch up my foundation. This one is the one because baby, that foundation going nowhere. Oh my god. And that's just not one little layer that I put on. If we put more, don't even need a concealer. I just everything blurs out. So overall, if if I have to give, I would give, um, I don't know, an 8 because I really like how really good coverage is but I think it's a little on the thick side, you know, I don't think that you need, I have another full coverage foundation that's not so thick, so, but, yeah, I think I worth the money. So I'm gonna link the link below for the Pura Cosmetic for this foundation and for actually where I got from for testing purpose complimentary so so now we are ready for our spring look so for, for eyeshadow I'm gonna be using this little pink one over here for put on my eyelid so uh, let's get a fluffy brush and start it like I'm going to get a little bit of this sparkly one over here. I'm going to use my finger and just put it under my... Use a little bit of this 
brow brown color here and just gonna sample the crease of my eyes a little bit so just so I can give a little dimension. Now I'm just going I'm not gonna use um liquid line eyeliner, I'm just gonna do on the top just a little bit just for sample sample my eyeliner lash line. Alright, I need my little mirror here. I'm just gonna put this on my lips because it's dry. So lips, I'm gonna use a lip gloss. I don't wanna use lipstick because my lips is dry lately. So this one is, I don't know if you can see, I don't think it's gonna be possible. It's called uh, Sophia, it's from a lot of here. This is, oh, I'm trying to make a softer look. I don't wanna to like accentuate my brown so much. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that brown color. This one here, eyeshadow. And I'm just going to fill in my browns a little bit. Because you guys know I have tattoo browns. But sometimes they just like... Uh... And I'm going to go ahead and use uh, this uh, silly booster you can read it from Lancome it's just a um, eye a mascara primer because you like I say if you follow me around you watch my videos you know I don't like to wear lashes because they actually make your real eyelashes thinner so what I do is I use um Eyelash a primer to make them a little thicker. On the other side, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my mascara. This is, oh, I love these chubby lashes from Clinique. I love, love, love this mascara. So, let me just go ahead and apply it. Look how big my lashes look compared to the other one. Now let me just touch up a little bit in perfection. All right, now it's time for blush. I just gonna use this pink blush here from this little palette and a little bit of this highlight palette just to put it like on um, my cheeks. All right, first I'm gonna do the highlighter because I don't wanna get pink blush on my brush okay. this highlighter it's very soft you just have like a little pearl kind of feel to the so soft you almost cannot see it now this blush I'm very scared of because it's very pigmented so I'm gonna be very careful. Okay. A light pink look. It's almost like a pastel look. For perfect with spring now. Very feminine, very delicate. Normally I would use a foundation that's not this thick and that's full coverage But since I'm just doing this for um, I'm using the foundation so I could uh, reveal a little bit so that's why but Though I think that's a light to light for me I might go with some bronzer in later and just try to warm my face a little bit up 
but that's it. Okay, hope you guys like it.